Hey Betty, so today I am going to be making my shampoo bars and this is my little setup that I have. So as you see, I have my shampoo massage bowl molds. I have my measurements for my herbs and my oils. This has alcohol on it. I just wiped down my bamboo chopping board with my knife. This is alcohol because you have to spray your shampoo bars with alcohol at the end. These are the herbs that I'm thinking I'm going to use in one of the shampoo bars that I have. Or two of the shampoo bars that I have. But let me show you the bases. So I got these from Soap Goods and it's called SoapGoods.com. I got all of these like either $4 or $5 a piece. So if you are looking for some good ones and you don't want to go on Amazon, try SoapGoods.com. Um, the quality is good, so that's why I wanted to give it a try. But I have the hemp seed oil, I have the olive vera base, I have the goat's milk with shea butter, and then I have the oatmeal bar. So, and I also got my bowl with my water because we're going to do a double bowl method. So, yeah, that's what we're about to get down to right now. So I decided to do half a bar of the shampoo bases because this is my first time making shampoo bars. And just in case I didn't like it, I didn't want to waste all of my material. So that would be a key point that I would suggest to anyone. If you're trying something new, don't use all your inventory because if you don't like it, then you'll have some to go back and tweak it. I use the goat milk with shea butter base because goat milk contains vitamin B, which helps with our hair growth. Vitamin B has been known to curb the dryness and the brittleness of our hair, and it also assists with the growth of the red blood cells, which are responsible for carrying the oxygen and the nutrients to the hair follicles in the scalp. I chose to pair this with the oatmeal base because oatmeal has wonderful soothing calming properties when it comes to anybody that may be suffering from any type of scalp conditions. Oatmeal also contains omega fatty acids which help repair our split ends and damage that our hair incurs and it provides great moisture which makes our hair feel softer. Oatmeal also has protein in it. Protein helps add thickness to our hair. So not only would your hair feel softer, it will also feel fuller and it won't be prone to breakage. I made sure to cut my pieces as small and even as possible because I wanted it all to melt together seamlessly because I do understand that some bases may have a higher melting point than others and like I said this is my first time trying it so I wasn't sure if the goat and shea butter was going to take longer to melt than the oatmeal. I formulated this shampoo bar for anybody who is suffering from any type of scalp conditions. And we all know the power of olive vera on the skin, but it's also amazing on the hair. It strengthens the hair. It also controls the greasiness of hair. It helps with the irritated and itchy scalp, and it protects from UV damage. And of course, the wonderful benefit is that it also helps our hair grow. So as you see, I had to change my method up on how I was trying to incorporate the olive vera powder into the soap base because using just the bowl and the spatula, it was actually causing the powder to clump up together. So I chose to switch out the container as well as the method to infuse it better and it worked way better. Very happy. 
I chose to also include some avocado oil because it is wonderful for the hair. It retains moisture, it provides a great boost of shine, and it prevents breakage and split ends. Twenty four hours later. Okay, guys, now it is time for the big reveal. I've been waiting all day for these to come out, and I just love the way these molds work. They're bendable, so you don't have to worry about breaking your product or your product getting stuck in it. And look at the outcome of these massage bars. They are fully moisturized. I can even tell through the gloves, through the glide of them, that it is just packed with moisture. So next up, we are going to do a test run under the water to see how it lathers. I can't wait. Check out that lather, baby. For this to be the first time that I made shampoo bars, I am very impressed. And I must say that this bar fits easily in the hand. It glides smooth over the skin. And at this point, with the amazing benefits that is in this bar, this can be a complete body bar from head to toe for someone who suffers from sensitive skin, such as myself. And I can see that my customers are going to get several uses out of this bar. And that makes me extremely happy. So I think I am going to go with the shampoo bar method versus making a shower gel or a shampoo because this is going to be more eco friendly and it's going to last you longer and you'll get way more usage out of this than you would if I was to make a liquid version of this. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you being here. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. <laughs>